Marking the beginning of the Polaris Dawn mission, four private astronauts launched into space aboard a modified SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule. This five-day mission is set to test new spacesuit designs and conduct the first ever private spacewalk. Take a look at this. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. A billionaire, a retired U.S. Air Force pilot, and two SpaceX employees blasted off on Tuesday for a five-day mission that aims to test new suits in the vacuum of space. The mission's Falcon 9 booster rocket successfully separated from the capsule and landed safely back onto a seaborne pod. Around nine minutes after liftoff, the capsule reached orbit, and the crew batted around a small plush astronaut toy dog in zero gravity. I'll just read the instructions. It is Crew Dragon's fifth and riskiest private mission so far because it involves the crew exiting the capsule on what is known as a spacewalk. Right beneath your feet, so don't Copy. move down. Copy. Only highly trained, well-funded government astronauts have done spacewalks in the past. This one will involve Jared Isaacman, the 41-year-old billionaire founder of electronic payment company Shift4, who is bankrolling the mission. He's gone to space before in 2021 and has declined to say how much he is paying for the missions, but they are likely to cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Joining him is Scott Poteet, a retired Air Force lieutenant colonel, and two SpaceX engineers, Sarah Gillis and Anna Menon. For the spacewalk, in two days' time, the entire capsule will depressurize and the crew will be reliant on their spacesuits for oxygen. Isaacman and Gillis will exit the capsule tethered by an oxygen line. I believe this view here is, yep, it's of the trunk. Tuesday's launch included a moment of wow when the Crew Dragon separated from its support trunk in orbit with onboard cameras revealing a spectacular view of the capsule over the sunlit Earth. We can see that Polaris Dawn... Separation confirmed. 